hello. I hope you have your coffee. I, I have mine. We're going to talk about what we need to do to establish a U.S. Truth and Healing Commission, which aims to investigate the U.S. Indian boarding schools. So, let's get started. I'm going to be pulling from the National Native American Boarding School Healing Coalition. My dad does a lot of work with them, and they are actively lobbying the government for this legislation right now. They have done amazing organizing, making all of these resources available to us. Now I'm going to put them in your hands. The Truth and Healing Commission on Indian Boarding Schools Policies Act would establish a federal commission that would conduct a full inquiry into the assimilative policies of the U.S. Indian boarding schools. The federal commission would examine the location of children, document the ongoing impacts from U.S. Indian boarding schools, locate church and government records, hold culturally appropriate public hearings to collect testimony from survivors and descendants, gather institutional knowledge from subject matter experts, share findings publicly, provide a final report with a list of recommendations for justice and healing. So the status of the bill, according to the National Native American Boarding School Healing Coalition, they have been working with members of Congress to reintroduce and pass the Truth and Healing Commission on Indian Boarding Schools Policies Act. On June 2023, the bill was amended and passed unanimously of the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. The bill is called S-1723, and it is being prepared for a full Senate vote. On February 5th, 2024, the House introduced the bill as H.R. 7227. The bill will now need to be passed out of the House Committee on Natural Resources before going into the House floor for a full vote. They have set up and organized action items for anyone of any access to be able to advocate for this legislation contacting your senators and house reps. They have provided a call script. They even have social media resources. What this legislation ultimately needs is public support, and that's where you guys come in. Learning about residential school history is incredibly important, sharing those videos and educating each other. Now comes the next step, and that is supporting this legislation. This video is meant for the folks, the activists, who are among my following who are ready to take action. For folks who still need to get caught up on the history, I have made those resources available as well. I have another video that I shared recently as well. I know you guys are pros at contacting your legislators at this point. And thank you so much ahead of time for everyone who is ready to take this on. All right, I'll see you out there. Mm -hmm.